In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for Ki plus Br2. This is potassium iodide plus bromine gas. The first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. So this is our molecular equation. I have one bromine here and two here. Put a coefficient of two here. Now I've got two bromines on both sides, but I have two potassiums. If we put a two here, that'll fix the potassiums. We have two iodine atoms, two here, we're done. So the molecular equation is balanced. Now we need to write the state for each substance. Ki, potassium's compounds are very soluble. Put an AQ, that'll dissolve, dissociate into its ions. Br2, that's bromine gas. You should recognize that as a gas. KBr, again, another potassium compound, very soluble. So I2, that could be either iodine gas or just iodine dissolved in water, but not broken apart, not dissociated. Let's call it a gas you'll get pretty much the same net ionic equation when you're done in the end. Now that we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation. So potassium on the periodic table, that's in group one, has a one plus ionic charge. Iodide, that's a negative. So we'll have two of these potassium ions, two K plus, we'll write AQ at the end, let's not do that right now, plus two iodide ions, and then for the bromine, Br2, that's a gas. We don't split those apart in net ionic equations. So we're going to put Br2, and those are the reactants. For the products, we had a plus and a minus, so we'll have, again, 2K+, plus, and we have two bromide ions, 2Br-. minus. For the I2, for the iodine, if we consider that to be a gas, we would just write G for gas, like we did for the Br2. For gases, we don't split those apart. It would just be I2. If it was aqueous, dissolved in water, because I2 isn't a strong electrolyte, it's two nonmetals here, it's not going to split apart into its ions. So if we had aqueous solution, even though it's dissolved, it's not a strong electrolyte, it would also be I2. So no big deal there. Let's now cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So we have in the reactants two potassium ions and in the products, two potassium ions. Get rid of those. As we look at the rest of the equation, everything else is unique. So this is the net ionic equation for Ki plus Br2. Let me clean this up and write the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for Ki plus Br2. You note that charge is conserved. We have two negative charges here in the reactants, two negative charges in the products. And if you look at the atoms, they'll be the same for each type on both sides. So mass is conserved as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for potassium iodide plus bromine gas. Thanks for watching.